in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create an effect like this one where the um, part of an image is popping out kind of um, so here is the original picture you can see all of that and pretty much what we will be doing is creating um, well first of all what you're going to want to do is choose the image you will be using um, and then select parts of the picture that you want to have pop out. Now, um, it's better if there's like definite lines where like the image, um, I don't really know how to describe it, never mind, just ignore what I just said. So pretty much we will be achieving this pop out effect. So just create a new layer and get your rectangular select tool and just make a selection that's a decent size for your image then go to select border and um, I'm going to border it by six pixels um, this might change depending on the size of your image then fill that selection with your bucket fill tool with white Then go to select none now go to layer auto crop layer and what you will be wanting to do is just kind of move it close to your the part of the image that you want to make pop out now get your perspective tool it's right here and manipulate what you're going to want to do is change that white border so it kind of looks like the car or whatever is in your image is popping out. Um, this doesn't really look that good, but we'll just deal. Now get your eraser tool. and you might want to zoom in now what you're going to want to do is erase parts of the white border that you don't need like these um, lines right now that I'm erasing I don't need these lines because they are covering up my original image so there you go now what you'll be doing is on your Let's see. okay On your background layer, you want to erase all of the background that does not belong. So you can achieve this using the Paths tool um, and just make a single path around um, the part that's popping out and the background. Now once you're done drawing a path around your image, um, hit enter or you can um, or you can press selection from path and that should turn your path into a selection. Now go to select invert and get your eraser tool and just erase everything that is not necessary. Then select none. And there you go, your image should be done. And you can combine this image with a different background. So 